Hey Gypsies, this is Joy, back with another episode of The Soulmate Trap. Today I wanted to discuss how when you, when you call your relationship a soulmate relationship, it elevates this relationship up above just a regular one. And I know you, you think that because you wouldn't be doing it if you didn't think that. So you want it to be special and you want to let people know how special this is. This is a soulmate relationship, okay? So the problem with that is it implies it's one great soulmate relationship, okay? You know, um, it's, um, it's your special person for a lifetime, okay? So after you told everybody about this, what happens if the person passes or if the relationship ends? You, the implication was that there was just one, one soulmate for you, one special person. And you can have other relationships, but they're not going to be as special as this soulmate relationship. So I just, uh, I, I think you put yourself in a box when you start calling this uh, person your soulmate. There's pressure there that you don't even realize because you don't know what's going to happen in the future. You don't know if you're going to feel like you need to walk away from this person because they end up being toxic or not good for you. And then what do you do? What do you tell your friends? This soulmate really wasn't your soulmate? Why not just call them a very special person and, and leave it at that? It, it's just, it's, it's hard to backpedal after you start calling them a soulmate. All right. Thank you, gypsies. Bye.